Blavatsky called the seven root races. She believed that the fifth root race, the Aryans, were the closest descendants to the perfect spirit race. Occultist Guido von Liszt would later take her idea out of context and mix it with nationalism to develop the anti-Semitic ideology of Ariosophy. Sadly, the Nazi party would later adopt Ariosophical ideas, creating a not-so-direct line between Theosophy and Nazism. Theosophy also supports universal reincarnation, offering humans the opportunity to once again become an immortal spirit by displaying altruism. After the Theosophical Society opened their New York headquarters in 1875, Blavatsky immediately began work on her first book, Isis Unveiled, a master key to the mysteries of ancient and modern theology. The vastly referential work was divided into two volumes and released in 1877. The first volume, The Infallibility of Modern Science, criticized modern scientists for their disregard of psychic phenomena. The second volume, The Infallibility of Modern Religion, attempted to deconstruct modern religion, showcasing various hypocrisies, warning against the dangers of untrained mediumship, and criticizing Christianity's rejection of occult philosophy. Blavatsky and Olcott claimed that the 1,320-page book was mostly written by Master Moria and Master Kut Humi, or Master K.H., through telepathic dictation. After selling 1,000 copies within the first 10 days of its release, the book was released to mixed reviews. Some skeptics hold that Blavatsky didn't actually write it at all, and it was really just penned by Olcott, or Dr. Alexander Wildler, who helped Blavatsky with the spelling of various terms. The book contained a wealth of quotes from a gigantic bank of sources, ranging from Plato to obscure ancient writings she claimed to learn through the adepts. In 1891, Blavatsky would eventually write of Isis, Of all the books I have put my name to, this particular one is, in literary arrangement, the worst and most confused. In an 1895 essay, author William Emmett Coleman claimed to have found 2,000 passages copied from other books without credit, accusing HPB of plagiarizing material and crediting it to her spiritual masters. In 1882, Blavatsky and Olcott relocated the Theosophical Society to Adyar, India, in an attempt to immerse themselves in Buddhism. From there, Theosophy began to grow in popularity, as the Theosophical Society began to promote itself rampantly connecting with various schools and putting on displays of psychic healing and mediumistic workshops. Also during this time, a rapport had been developed between HPB and a philosopher named A.P. Sinnott. In letters to Sinnott, Blavatsky would claim to have used a psychic technique called precipitation, a phenomenon where letters are psychically willed to the paper. With this methodology, Blavatsky would mediate as Master K.H. assisted Sinet with his book, Esoteric Buddhism. Eventually, Sinet would become skeptical of Blavatsky's practices, and in 1884, she would be forced to leave Adyar for Germany, as a result of her phenomena becoming the subject of a lengthy fraud investigation. The Society for Physical Research sent Dr. Richard Hodgson to investigate Blavatsky's paranormal practices. The doctor presented confessions from people who claimed to have helped Blavatsky stage her phenomena. The investigation did substantial damage to the Theosophical Society in India, and Olcott told HPB to leave Adyar. It was in Germany that she penned her 1888 masterwork, The Secret Doctrine, which she referred to as the synthesis of science, religion, and philosophy. According to Blavatsky, the book was centered on an ancient Tibetan manuscript called The Book of Design transcribed from a secret language for her by one of the masters. Utilizing over 1,200 sources, the book expanded on Blavatsky's theories on root races. The book also met massive skepticism. In the same William Emmett Coleman essay that ripped Isis Unveiled apart, Coleman accuses HPB of plagiarizing several sources of contemporary science fiction books, including Atlantis by Ignatius Donnelly, and attributing them to the Book of Zion. Despite this controversy, The Secret Doctrine is still considered to be an incredibly influential book for both the Theosophical Society of today, as well as many fantasy and science fiction writers past and present. The last few years of Blavatsky's life were spent in London, publishing two more works, The Key to Theosophy and The Voice of Silence. During this period, she had been battling Bright's disease, heart disease, and rheumatism. She passed away on May 8, 1891. Though there are many 
who find her methodology questionable at best. She left behind an imaginative legacy with a powerful message of unity. While her phenomena seems easily disprovable to a monotheistic society that somehow practices materialism, she spent most of her life spreading a message of universal brotherhood. Her books, at worst, serve as highly engaging science fiction novels, showcasing an ocean of brilliant ideas to anyone willing to open their mind.